there's nothing wrong with you. You're just dealing with anxiety. And I felt so insulted, it's almost as though he had slapped me in the face or he had said something bad about my mom. And I turned to him and I said, you're being insensitive and I'm gonna call 911 anyways. And I did, and the paramedics came and they checked me out and they said, your vitals are good, but when was the last time you ate? And I go like eight or nine hours ago, they said, well, that's part of what's wrong with you. Maybe you need to get something to eat. If you still want to go to the hospital, we'll take you. And so they took me to the hospital anyways. I got something to eat. They took me and the, the triage nurse checked me out and she also knew that there wasn't anything wrong with me, but she didn't tell me at the same time. She just put me off into a hallway in the corner on a stretcher. And that night I was there and at some point I dozed off. I woke up, it was like 5 a.m. in the morning and it's like a voice whispered in my ear saying, there's nothing wrong with you, go home. And so my husband was there sitting on a chair sleeping and I uh, nudged to him. I got off the, the stretcher, nudged him and I said, I think you were right. <laughs> but ever so often he'll say, remember that time in Toronto when you were dying? <laughs> So is it okay with you if we start with something funny? Let me see a show of hands. <laughs> awesome, awesome. My mother said shame is not a load, but it can break your neck. So there's some things that you go to your grave with you don't, you don't talk about. There's some things you never talk about because it's gonna bring shame on your family. How many of you find it challenging asking for the sale? Anybody here, you, you're challenged to ask for the sale? Yeah, yeah. I, that was my big thing for a long time because like I said, my core fear is fear of rejection. How many of you maybe have a hard time discussing expenditures, personal spending with your spouse or partner? Yeah, yeah, it's a huge, huge one. Um, thank you for being honest. Yeah, um, I actually have to be honest that that's something that I've dealt with. Um, I thought that only happened at a certain um, income level or income bracket and then I met this lady who is super successful she's a real estate investor um, she owns multiple properties um, multi-millionaire and she shared with me that she has a hard time actually she she's no longer married to this person but when she was married to this person uh, her spouse she had a hard time letting him know what she bought. So she would go out and buy, make personal purchases and come back in and remove the tags, hide the receipts and stuff the things in her closet. And she would leave them there for months. All right, the truth will set you free, but it might embarrass you. I have to say I've done some similar things. Like I mentioned, our core fear is our money blind spot, our core fear. And what happens is that when we're afraid to ask for the sale, when we're afraid to ask for the promotion, we're afraid to discuss expenditures, we are actually afraid of rejection, right? Whether it's rejection, afraid, being afraid of rejection, being afraid of losing love, being afraid of having nothing, whether we're afraid of being judged, not being approved of or not being liked these a lot of times i've heard people say well it's fear of success or it's fear of failure if we're to dig deep di drill down deep what's underneath it is the fear that you had in your earliest years it came about from something that a happened to you early on and it created a wound, a deep, deep wound. There, there's this fear of whatever, whether it's rejection or losing love or not being liked or not being approved of or being judged or having nothing that's tied up with that because these are people who you've had known for years or they've been part of your family and you don't want to lose something, right? Well, it's, they don't realize that it's a trickle down effect. <laughs> Whatever yours is, I love that you share that, thank you. I'm gonna invite each person, whether it's uh, not asking for a raise or it's not getting current, not having clients get current with your payments, whatever your thing is, I want you to put a dollar figure on it. 